Hello everybody, how are we keeping? Um, so normally we've been trying Zooms and we've been trying doing some lives um, but I know that a lot of people are either busy, they're at work, the kids are napping so I thought that we would try um, something different. So I've found a book called Do Not Wash This Bear and I'm going to read it to you. So, if you would not all like to get comfortable, <laughs> I will begin. Okay, starts with some very, very pretty pictures. I'm just wondering whether I need to do this. I'm using Sophie's tablet, which I'm not very massively used to, so please bear with me. Just decapitated myself. Right, let's try there. <laughs> so... Do not wash this bear. There we go, got pictures. Nice pictures, can you see the pictures? My daddy is not very good at doing the washing. Your daddy's good at doing the washing. He makes my t-shirts titchy. He turns my vest's pink. And he disappears my socks. So, when he wanted to wash my bear, I cried. No, but Daddy didn't listen. Bear smells, he said. Bear is muddy and grubby and he needs a clean. Wait, I said, and I showed Daddy the label under Bear's bottom. Do you think that that bear has a stinky bottom? Do not wash this bear. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to be bad news for Bear? But Daddy still didn't listen. He popped Bear in the washing machine. Bear whizzed and whirled, round and round, soapy and sploshy, foamy and frothy. Then Daddy opened the door. Oh no, washing Bear was a big mistake. Can you see? Oh no, poor Bear. Bear was different. He waved at me. He winked at me. He blew a raspberry. Look at him. That's a cheeky bear. Look, Daddy, I yelled. But Daddy was too busy looking for lost socks to see what Bear was up to. Suddenly, Bear jumped out of the washing basket and he ran up the stairs. Stop, I said. But Bear didn't listen. There's that bear running up those stairs. He bounced into the bathroom and started making bubbles. Big bubbles. Stop, I shouted. But Bear didn't listen. Look at all the bubbles that he's made in the bathroom. Oh dear, dear. He ran into my bedroom and made it snow. Look at all those feathers. Too much snow. Stop. Achoo! I sneezed. But Bear didn't listen. A bear roly-poly down the hall, jumped on the cat and took off down the stairs. Stop that bear, I hollered. But Daddy had so much washing, he couldn't see what bear was up to. Crash! 
poor daddy has fallen down the stairs with the washing basket. The socks and pants and vests everywhere. Just then, the front door opened. Mummy! I cried. There's Mummy, look, she's come to save the day, like we normally do. Mummy looked at Bear, then she looked at Daddy and shook her head. You should have read the label, she said. Do not wash this Bear. Mummy grabbed Bear by the ears and carried him out, kicking and grubbling out to the garden and pegged him on the line to dry. <laughs> Very soon, Bear was back to his old self again. Daddy said Bear smelled better now. But then, oh no, what's he going to do now? Naughty Daddy. But then, he picked up Rabbit. Pooey, Daddy said. Rabbit needs a wash. Oh, this is a good end the world. Daddy never learns. Do not wash this rabbit. Oh, look at that. Lots and lots and lots of socks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book. And remember to always tell Daddy to read the wash labels, okay? Especially on dry clean only stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I do need to practice my reading skills. I'm no Robert. I hope we've all been watching Robert at the library, at Filey Library. Um, me and Sophie have spent about an hour watching him this afternoon, having our snow day. Well, if you can call it snow. Um, so, shall we sing one song? And then I will love you, leave you lovely people in peace. Um, what song should we do? Should we do Wind the Bobbin Up? Because I'm sure it's a crowd pleaser. Okay, this is probably where Chris comes in and sends me off in a white van. But hey ho. Okay. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull. Clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again. Wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the door, point to the window, point to the floor. Clap your hands together. One, two, three. Put your hands up on your knee. Oh, guys, I hope that you're all keeping well. I hope you're keeping sane. Uh, if any mummies or daddies need to inbox me for anything at all, please do if you need a chat. And let me know if you enjoyed that and I will try and do us another one. <laughs> See you later guys. Bye bye.